One part of Austin's hike and bike trail will be closed off all this week. It is happening in East Austin in the area near the old Holly Power Plant. KXAN's Amanda Dugan looks at how the closure is part of an even bigger project. Those who like to stroll or jog along the Ann and Roy Butler hike and bike trail through Metz Park will notice it will be shut down for the next few days as Austin Energy works on electrical lines. Now it's all part of the ongoing work to decommission the Holly Power Plant. Just trying to keep people safe. During this time, it will not be safe for pedestrians to cross under the work trucks in the area as wires will be getting pulled. The project is expected to take about four days to be completed. There will be signs and barricades alerting anyone on the trail about the closures. They say this is vital in helping keep the area safe for anyone who enjoys the trail. And we're doing it for aesthetic reasons as well. So some of these old structures are no longer needed, so they're going to be coming down. And it'll just uh, improve to the overall look of the park and the area. Last year, crews demolished parts of the Holly Power Plant. This year, they're looking to complete an environmental study to see how the land has been impacted because eventually they like to open up some of the area to the public. Of course, we'll keep you posted on that project. In Central Austin, Amanda Dugan, KXAN News. And workers have been collecting soil samples from this site to test for contaminants and to make sure the land is safe before they open it for the public to use. It's pretty important because they have some big plans for that site. This is a look at the city's master plan for Holly Shores. Some of the big priorities for this area include connecting the streets and parkland around the Austin Energy site as well as improving park facilities. But they're also looking at adding a performing arts center, a playground, a picnic garden and a place to launch boats. Also keep in mind, more people are already using this part of the trail since the boardwalk opened in June. About 15,000 people now use the east side on a regular basis. The 1.2 mile long bridge helped complete the trail all the way around Ladybird Lake.